Hello everyone, Sigmalator here. Welcome back to Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. Got some exploring to do now that we've uh, reunited with Samara. Yep, they suck. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Again? The Crucible Project received some new tech from the Asari government. I'm glad they've decided to help the war effort. Everybody has to fight now, no matter how pretty you are. <laughs> I learned that the hard way. That you did, trainer. That you did. Uh, Miranda Lawson, Shepard. I discovered a few things about my sister. It's bad, but there's something else going on. I'm back on the Citadel. I'll find a place to meet and send you an F point when you get there. Uh, Elenko. Hi, Shepard. I don't know about you, but I could sure use a little breather. Next time we're on the Citadel, let me buy you dinner. We should try Apollo's. It's a little restaurant on the courtyard overlooking the Presidium. Uh, Garrus. Shepard, I thought next time we're at the Citadel, maybe we could take a break. Can't fight a war without a little R&R &R once in a while. I'll be hanging around CSEC near the shuttles if you're interested. Cool. Head for the front lines. Samara. Shepard, I've finished my business on uh, Lessus. I would offer to travel once again with you but on the Normandy, but the code dictates I join the fight where it is most dire. While you do your essential work, I will do my best to help hold the front before I depart. Uh, before I depart, I'll return to the Citadel for a short time to prepare. If it does not interfere with your duties, come find me there. Uh, Corinne Lamas, Commander Shepard. As of an hour ago, Asari High Command has assigned my squad to support you. We will ride with the second fleet until it's time to deploy. If you'll allow me a personal note, I knew a few of the commandos who went down to the monastery. Nothing will bring them back, but hearing that the place went up in smoke is the only good news I've heard in weeks. Ready to serve, Captain Corinne Lamas. Well, you are welcome. Shepard, an easy excuse to tear myself away from all these monitors. Come see me next time we dock at the Citadel. Commander, I find this messaging system to be outdated and clumsy. I assumed Specialist Trainer was joking when she said I had to type letters to form words. I want to visit the Citadel the next time we travelled there. In my lifetime, it had been captured by the Reapers. If you would like to join me, I will be at the area where the embassies are located. I believe this concept of galactic control shared among races is a lie. Ah, <laughs> oh, Javik. Alright, let's go see what Adams needs. Yay! Optimised ESO capacitors. Okay, it was worth coming down here for a chat. Alright. We've got some more exp mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. But don't get into trouble. I promise nothing. But right, we've got some more exploring to do in this system. I'm pretty sure there's nothing I can do else here. How's my fuel? <sighs> oh, it's tight. It's very tight. I found something. Oh, of course you did. Oh, 
Oh, good fuel. And we're done. Reapers eluded. Oh, lots of fuel. Thank you. There's another one over here. Lots of fuel. That's now 100%. And that says cluster done. Thank goodness for that. Right. 100%. Find the ex Cerberus scientists. I am on it like a car bonnet. Oh, this bit's already 100%. Okay, never mind then. Oh, the meanest wasteland. Oh, have I already done this one? All right then. I didn't realize. Garrus and Liara. I like this weapon, I'm going to keep it. Alright. I don't use the cryo ammo, but it's worth boosting up. Oh, you need five for that, okay. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? Our intel is minimal. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. Oh, hey, Jacob. You hang on, Jacob. We'll get you sorted. No wonder Cerberus abandoned this place. It's freezing. All right, just keep moving. What did these people do to bring this down from their head? They crossed the elusive man, which is a big no-no. This gun's awesome. All clear. Check for survivors. Anything out here to scan? Hello? Who's there? Give me a second, Jacob. There he is. Jacob. How bad? I'll live. I think. This is 
This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Jacob. Oh my god. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now. But they'll be back. Uh, sure you're okay? Yeah. I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. <laughs> hey, yo. Good to see you, too. Staying out of trouble, I see. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Why does the elusive man want to kill you? Our stories are different, but the themes are the same. We were each using information from the Collector Base to work on the different components of a larger tech. After someone completed their component, they disappeared. No bodies, just gone. As we progressed, we started feeling like we were signing each other's death warrants. The elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. Jacob Taylor, way out here. That's a surprise. Yep. I'm so sorry. Uh, Jamie, I didn't want to come here with these people. It was his idea. How was I going to do it? That's what I wanted to know. Finish the work. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. He's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Thank you. All right. Let's head upstairs. Anything over here? Ah, this. There'll be information about the poison here, I think. Bryn, I don't like this. I've managed to get eyes on some of the research the others were doing, and I'm getting a sense of a big picture here beyond anything we could could have imagined, in our worst nightmares, kind of imagined. I'm going to start sabotaging my work. That's how bad it is. We need to meet up, and talk ASAP. H. Anything here? No. Dr. Archer! Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer, we met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. Yes, well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried infecting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster who tortured his own brother. What did you say to the elusive man? I told him if his intention was to work with the devil, he only had to look in the mirror. I wanted out of his nightmare. He just let you go? If it had been that easy, I wouldn't be hiding here. Every Cerberus soldier in the galaxy has orders to shoot me on sight. What happened to Project Overlord? 
After your intervention, the elusive man insisted I find another test subject. Someone who shared my brother David's abilities. I couldn't bear the thought of reliving the nightmare, so I destroyed all of my research. Overlord is no more. I have to go. And I'm not even going to pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. Open that damn door. Thank you. Alright, I need to find information on the poison while I'm here. And make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43. Plus research assistants. You ran with over 40 people? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? Like we didn't have enough to worry about. So these refugees brought everyone with them? Yes. We have about 17 kids here. Partners, spouses, parents. I promised these people refuge. A new life free from Cerberus. I just never imagined the elusive man would... That's what evil counts on. That it's hard for good people to imagine. Okay. Everyone left gets out of here alive. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You win? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Yeah, don't. You're not gonna help your people by being stupid, uh, J Jacob. Where's the poison? Is this it? Yes. Taylor to Turians. Attempts are ongoing at figuring out what the end product of our research was meant for. While it is obvious that the delivery system was to imp was to be implant reliant with evident neurological applications many questions remain as of yet unanswered the loss of dr horace armstrong in particular is hindering our efforts to speedily recover the nature of the elusive man's goals we have several parts of the whole which lead us to chilling conclusions but we are nowhere near figuring out what said whole might be and that is what scares me the most uh, that must have been h don't want to die. Go. Just go. No, no. I'm okay. Let's just do this. That was a quick change of heart. I'm in here. Two seconds. Uh, with Jacob's help, we have managed to ascertain that several of our colleagues were in fact killed. Contracts terminated is what Cerberus called it. Okada, Scott, Daniel Chung, He, Anika, and so many others I don't even know about. All of them gone, disappeared without a trace, just like that. We should have left sooner. I don't know why we waited so long. I can't remember what seemed so important that we had to just stay one more day. What was I thinking? Dr. Cole? Got a moment? Of course. What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. 
That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? Until the elusive man became preoccupied with the Collectors, I worked in physics. It was a researcher's paradise. I had access to cutting-edge tech and all the personnel I needed. The elusive man spares no expense for technical perfection. That technical perfection's almost killed me a few times. It also saved your life. Strange to think about, I would imagine. Maybe. But then, life is full of uncomfortable ironies. Isn't everyone's? How did you get away? I was a loyal senior employee. There's a lot of freedom in that. When our fourth colleague disappeared, we organized and were out the door in days. And until now, Cerberus never suspected you were hiding right under their noses. We honestly thought we had it all figured out. It's humbling. So what's this work of yours that Cerberus wants so badly? It's based on tech gathered from the Collectors. In essence, it involves dissecting Reaper to Collector communications. Dr. Horace Armstrong and I were working on a practical human application. An implant of sorts. Once he'd completed his component and moved on to less valuable work, he disappeared. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. All right, let's go talk to Jacob now. Let's just get the hell out of here. Calm down. Commander Shepard's here. So what? So relax. We've got a little time. Shepard, I'm in here. Oh, hold on. More stuff to... Outpost now 48% operational. We've reorganized some of the uh, storage rooms around the central core, turning them into living units in order to save power. The outer areas are all condemned now, which should provide us with a buffer should Cerberus agents find us. The guns are functional, but I don't like how, how exposed they are. Excuse me. I'm going to look into finding us some shielding on the black market. Anything over here? Yes. We're around here. No. All right. Hey, you okay? How have you been? Give us a minute. This is crazy. I didn't think I'd ever see you again. I know the feeling. So how'd you become a gun for hire? Long story. It was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. You seem good. You look good. These are great people. Defending their ideals? I like it. I think I found what I'm meant to do. You still think about what happened to your dad? Haunts me more like. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working at a place like this? After we got back, well, things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus. I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. And what did all that fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. Sure, I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. Anything on Cerberus I should know about? The elusive man became obsessed with indoctrination. I know that. You ever wonder how it all went wrong? I mean, was I blind? I remember him being an idealist. How come I couldn't see the evil? Don't beat yourself up. And if you ever get that crystal ball working, give me a heads up, because I'd love to know how this all plays out. <laughs> right. How long have you known Brynn? We met through a mutual friend in the Mumbai cell. Guess I've known her for a year. We had a lot in common. Then she came to me about her missing colleagues. Asked for my protection, my help finding a place to run to. How could I say no? Who is she to you? We're together. And you run this enclave with her? You settling down, Jacob? Yeah, maybe. It's just, um, 
If these are our final days, I want to spend them protecting these people. Building a life, whatever's left of it. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. Ah. All right, let's head out. I thought we covered our bases. I told you that we should have gone to sanctuary. What, with us? Just focus on what would these people have done if we hadn't shown up? These civilians had no hope of coming out of this alive. Agreed. But doesn't mess up, we're here now. We're on it. Anyone else? Hello. Give me all the ammo. Oh, what's this? It's cool. Jacob, this should be back online now. Affirmative, but the guns are still down. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back to the front of the facility. More enemies in our path. Of course there is. Why wouldn't there be? Oh, stick your head out. Thank you. All of them. We have to get up there and activate those AA guns manually. All right. Oh, there's a thing. Let's grab that. Ah, here we go. Up here. Whatever that is, I will take it. Okay, one of us has to make these repairs. 
Garrus, you do the repairs. We'll do. Stay focused, Liara. Just you and me. You bet, Shepard. Come on. Gotcha. I'm on it. I mean, you're you're right there, Garrus. There we go. That's the job done nicely. Shepard, A guns are back online. Copy that. Let's get these people out of here. Yeah, job done. Okay, the guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We could go now. But there's no do-overs here. Agreed. <coughs> and we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. Wait for my go. You can begin the evacuation from the command terminal. Got it. All right, we'll have a final scout around, make sure I haven't missed anything. Yeah, we've read that. Got the poison information. Yeah, we've read that. Alright, I think we're good. Troops are get those people out of here. Of course, it wasn't going to be that easy, was it? Let's go. Double time. Clear the shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up, then get out to the landing pad. Right behind you. Jacob, bring up the main door. Got it, Shepard. We'll do. Okay, let's get here. We go. Take out 
that shield generator. Jacob, come in. What's your status? Shepard, the facility's overrun. Cerberus troops are all over the place. One more shuttle of refugees to go, right? We got it. We just need to hold them a little longer. I see you, you little shit. Yeah, good stuff. That was the last of the civilians. Shepard, heads up. Place is overrun. We gotta go. Then go ahead and kill you with the shuttle. Jacob, thank you. Understood. Are we, are we good? Jacob, landing area cleared. This place is crawling. Bring the shuttle to you. Roger that. Hey, there we go. Sorted. That's not the rifle I have. Move. Come on, Jacob, let's go. teeth again, hey, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. You don't want to join the team on the Normandy? I'm torn, Shepard, but looking out for these families is important to me. It's where I'm at right now. I hope you can see that. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. <laughs> Shepard, when this mess is over, Drinks are on me. Be safe out there. You too, Jacob. You're all right. Problem solver. Yeah, kind of. Hack it here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. That was short and sweet. Alright. Let's see what else we can do. I have to go back to the Citadel and wrap up some of the uh, side missions. are safe with the Alliance. The Brass thinks they'll be a big help on the Crucible. First Grissom Academy, now this. Nice work. You know how fighter pilots put those little stamp things under their cockpits for each kill? 
I'm thinking of getting one by the galaxy map every time I analyze the crap out of some data. You're turning into a regular Marine. Yes, well, I guess you're rubbing off on me. Nice work. Thanks, Commander. It feels good to bring someone out alive. Good for you, trainer. All right, let's go see what Caden wants. Uh, where is he? He's in the cruise courses. What's up, Caden? Hey, what's going on? You got a minute? Sure, Caden. What's up? You know, I've just been sitting here thinking. Uh oh. Okay, hit me with it. So those Cerberus scientists, they were good people. What do you mean? I mean, Dr. Cole and her team seem like, like good people. Knowing that, what do we do? I mean, what if they're more like them, trapped inside Cerberus, struggling to get out? Tell me what you think we should do. I don't know, Shepard, these are the hard calls. I mean, the decision to sacrifice the one for the many a choice to leave someone behind till you're in that moment. I... So, yeah, you know, I don't know. Anyone that comes forward, like these people, we help, no matter what. That's the best we can do. I know. Sometimes the best we can do won't feel like enough, but it's all we've got. So the scientists that put you back together, saved your life they were good people they were professionals i didn't know them all and the elusive man was he a good person once ever well he gave me what i needed to stop the collectors right exactly but so you never saw this coming from him from him sorry i'm not sure what i want you to say here I guess I'm just looking for some sort of insight on the elusive man. Something. Back then, he wanted the best for humanity. And he had resources to spare. But then it became humanity first, and at any cost. And that... That's a very different thing. But this? No. I never saw this coming from him. Mm. Okay. Well, thanks, Shepard. I'm glad we could talk about this. Meanwhile, you should find a way to take your mind off things. I know. Joker did ask me to give him some poker tips. He keeps losing his shirt to James. Good luck with that. Joker has a terrible poker face. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, I like a challenge. See you around. You bet. Alrighty. Uh, yep. Yeah. How are we doing? All right, we've got we've got time. Liara mentioned something about possibly meeting you on the Citadel next time you're there. Yeah, something about something like that. All right. Should be this area all done. All right, good. You don't say 100%, so what's the story with you? Signal confirmed. Oh no, there is something here. Just the Reapers aren't attacking. Sorry, cruiser. Lovely. Right, that's you, hundred percent. Perfect. Whoa. Okay. I found. 
smell something. <coughs> what have you got for me? Ah, there we go. Somebody on the Citadel wants you. Ah, there it is. Evasion successful. God, that noise is trauma inducing. You a hundred percent. Signal confirmed. <coughs> well, that was easy. Sorry, cruiser. Excellent. More war assets. The more, the better. Fifty percent. Fuel. Not, not quite a full tank, but it's enough. Thanks, Ed. Sorry, research ships. Excellent stuff. Evasion successful. Not today, bitch. Right, that will do. Reapers eluded. And is there one over here? Yes. Be the last one. Signal confirmed. Of course, you'd be right on the edge. <coughs> Sorry, engineers. Excellent. You should be the last one. 500. Perfect. Alright. We're out. Faster than light jump successful. And that's this nebula 100% done. Perfect. Alright. You're 100%. And basin. Oh, I think you're a closed system, aren't you, the Anos Basin? We need to go over there to talk to the Quarians. And my cluster, I think you're done. You're done. Alright, let's go back to the Citadel. We'll wrap up this episode by finish off some of these. Alliance docks. You're cleared to dock, Normandy. Do you need ground transport? Uh, where do I need to go? I need a cab to the Presidium. Navigation is becoming increasingly difficult due to the number of refugee ships in the docking area. Alright. Oh, yeah, you. I think I know which project you mean, and I've got a Hesperia period statue in Bay D24. Commander Shepard, that's excellent news. 
I'll have it sent to that project right away. Thank you so much for your help. Hey, how's that for timing? Nice. Right, nothing new here. Anyone else here I need to talk to? Caden and Liara. So there's no one else for side missions up here, that's fine. Oh, went straight past you. Hey, Caden. Surprised this place can still get supplies for a menu like this. Maybe it's better if we don't ask how or where. I'm glad we're taking the time to do this. I could use a sanity check. Things have been pretty crazy. You know, my life flashed in front of my eyes on Mars. And there weren't enough moments like this with people I care about. How are you feeling these days? Feeling up to whatever the Reapers throw at me. And grateful that I convinced you to sit down for half a second and relax. Yeah. I think it's a good time for us to have a heart to heart. What are you drinking? <laughs> if you're trying to butter me up, it might take a nice steak sandwich, too. So? Shot of whiskey and a good old Canadian lager. Think they have it? More likely to have Paterian shard wine. At my parents' place in Vancouver? <laughs> Drank more than a few beers on their balcony, looking over English Bay. Yeah. Beautiful view. You know what, though? I feel good about our chances. Yeah? Yeah. Lets me sleep better at night. You're not sleeping, Caden? Maybe a little restless. It's just... You plan a career, you focus, and then... Suddenly the world's ending and it's too late to, uh... To find someone. Someone? We've been friends a long time, Shepard. Have you ever known me to be with anyone? I guess I'm just choosy or patient or... I Sorry, know. Caden. Maybe what I've never found and what I want is something deeper with someone that I already care about. And that's what I want. What do you want? Oh, God damn it. Stop making me do this. I'm sorry, Caden, but we should just keep it professional. Sure thing. No problem. I, I understand. But, okay, look. I just want you to know that I consider you a friend. Okay? A good one. Damn, this is way less awkward in my mind. Mostly, I guess I just wanted you to know that I admire you as a commander. And I value your friendship. I'm very flattered, Caden, but unfortunately, I do not swing that way. You're my brother, Caden. I'm glad to be part of the crew. What'd you call it? A uh, sanity check? Mm. Sanity check. Bless him. It is always hopelessly awkward admitting that kind of thing to people, though, isn't it? I have an audio log for you. For me? Where did this come? Oh no. Oh, Tasha. Thank you for bringing this back. At least I know what happened. Right. Welcome to Casa Fabrication Weaponry. <clears throat> nope. I'll keep checking these just in case there's anything. I want some more fish and some more models. Where are they? Give me them. Welcome to Agor Munitions. Thank you for shopping nope. at Agor. Welcome to Super Teen Armory. We nope. Uh, Liara. There she is. How you doing? You sure you don't want to do something a little more exciting? I love this part of the Presidium. It reminds me of where I grew up. 
Where's that? I'm Molly, back on Thessia. My mother and I lived beside a park. I spent hours there. Doing what? <laughs> Reading, exploring, getting in trouble digging for ruins in the grass. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I was very young. Yeah, <coughs> actually pretty cute. No one else thought it was funny. Oh, the lecture my mother gave me. But she did buy me my first history book the next day. I miss her, Shepard. What was she like? She was confident and kind. She loved to wear yellow. I thought she was the most beautiful woman in the world. You'll be okay, Liara. Maybe you're right. Thank you, Shepard. I feel better. I wish we could spend more time together like this. Just friends. It'd be nice. And who knows? Maybe you'll settle down after this. You don't really see me going into civilian life, do you? No. But I guess that's one more reason we should keep in touch. Someone to share a few secrets with now and then? You got it. See, letting Liara down in some cases is a lot easier than others because we've been over two games now with Liara. She knows I'm all about Tally. Whereas Caden, he was MIA for most of uh, Mass Effect 2, so he doesn't know that I'm all about Tally. Alright. Who's next? All done. Oh yeah, we need to talk to Tactus. Down in the docks. Edie Joker and Arya are there. Jacob and there's a doctor there we need to talk to. A lot of people up there we need to talk to. And Garrus over there. Alright. But that will have to wait for the next episode. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell. I've been Sigma later. This has been Mass Effect 3 Legendary Edition. And I'll catch you next time. Take care now.